Hello and welcome to Thomas Geiger car today with the new Mercedes S63 AMG E Performance. Yes, the name is quite long, but the car is very interesting because roughly two years after Mercedes has launched its flagship sedan, now it's going to Afalterbach. It's going to the gym and it's returning as a sports model. If you want to know what to expect from that sports guy in a suit, Join me on my first test drive and I'll tell you more about it. Since the S-Class is a luxury sedan, the car has still lots of style. But underneath this tailor-made suit, there are muscles. And you can see these muscles from the outside. We have some carbon applications at the mirror, down here at the fender line. We have big wheels and most of all, we have the iconic AMG Panamericana grille. But the most important thing with every AMG is the engine. And let's take a look underneath the hood, what they've placed in there. Yes, everybody's talking about electric cars these days. And also AMG is working on an electric sports car for the midst of the decade. But it's still a petrol heads company and there are still petrol engines in the cars. In this case, it is the standard V8 4 liter twin turbo delivering more than 600 horsepower alone. But the car is called E-Performance for a reason. It's a plug-in hybrid, same as you know it from the C63 and from the GT four-door coupe. Combining the V8 with an electric motor of 140 kilowatts, delivering in total more than 800 horsepower system power output and more than 1400 newton meters of torque. The energy for that is stored in a battery of more than 13 kilowatt hours. That's twice the amount that we have in the C-Class and in the GT Coupe, delivering an electric range of roughly 30, 33 kilometers. So enough to leave your city, your township, your compound quiet. And for most of the people, it's also enough to commute electrically between home and office. And it's giving you the extra punch while accelerating. So lots of technology to play with. And that's exactly what we are going to do next. The AMG version has all the gadgets and all the technology that you know from the S-Class. We have the 3D cluster instrument. We have the MBUX system with the big screen here. We just have some more twists and tweaks from the sporty side of life. We have a dedicated AMG steering wheel with the knobs in there to adjust the sound of the car, to adjust the setup of the car and to adjust the drive mode. We have special AMG seats, we have special AMG design, and we have some more features on the MBUX system that are AMG related when it comes to the telemetric data of the car and the use on a, let's call it track, not that any S-Class would ever go on a racetrack, but if you want to, you can, and then you can use lap timer and stuff like that. While we are leaving the scene from the static video shot and getting back on the Pacific Coast Highway, we're using the E mode. That is the standard mode when the vehicle starts off. The car then only drives on electric power. Very silent, very unusual for an AMG. But I think that's the new thing. And at least for a little while you can enjoy the pleasure of electric driving. But if you want to have an AMG, you want to have some sound, you want to have some power, and you want to have that dedicated punch. The electric drivetrain is powerful enough to drive the car, not only in city conditions. I'm now at 40 miles, a little more than 60 kilometers per hour, still going electric only. And if I understood the engineers right, it's more than 100 kilometers per hour that you can go on a full electric drive. Now we're back on the Pacific Coast Highway and enjoying the full power of both engine and motor. And with a combined torque of more than 1400 Newton meters, this car really is agile and aggressive. You don't feel the more than two tons of weight when you accelerate. And if there is a red light and you floor the pedal, it just takes 3.3 seconds to accelerate from zero to 100 and you can outpace most of the sports cars and even some super sports cars with this luxury sedan. But it's not only about sprinting, it's about 
the effortless of acceleration and overtaking. And once the coast is clear and you're sure there is no state trooper around, you can accelerate up to 290 kilometers per hour, making the S-Class one of the most fastest sedans in the world. Once you leave the Pacific Coast Highway and enter the narrow canyons that head up to the Hollywood Hills, like the famous Decker Canyon, or once you go on the even more famous Mulholland Drive, you realize another side of the S63 AMG. It is surprisingly agile and nimble. That is mainly due to the rear wheel steering that tilts the wheels for roughly three degrees and let the car shrink to the felt size of a C-Class. Yes, it's still more than five meters and it's still way more than two tons, but it feels handy, it feels agile, and it eats the corner with a great appetite. Once you floor the pedal to overtake or to accelerate after a tight corner, you got hit by the massive punch again. But it's not a boxing glove, it's more a velvet glove. This car is an AMG, but it is also an S-Class, and it needs to have its style, its comfort, its luxury. That's also the case with the sound of the vehicle. Yes, it has a sports exhaust, it has a roar, it is louder than in the standard S-Class, but it does that with a style. It's not like on a heavy metal concert, it's more like an opera for petrol heads. As much fun as you have behind the wheel with a car with more than 800 horsepower and more than 1400 newton meters of torque, Mercedes is well aware that not every S-Class owner is driving the car by himself, at least not every day. Maybe for the weekends, but once it's for the commute to the office, they mostly use a driver. That's the reason why AMG kept all the room, all the luxury and all the comfort also in the back seat. Yes, we have some more brighter colors. The seats have a little more support, but it is an S-Class and it offers you all an S-Class would have to offer. Either if you have to work during your drive, you have enough room, you have enough support, you have enough power, you have all you need to do what you need to do. And if you're done with work, you can easily relax and chill. We even have the lounge seats with the leg support that makes traveling an ease. It takes a little while, but the front seat almost folds into the glove box. And then I can adjust my seat and have a relaxing rest of the drive. And I just hope that the driver is calm enough and not having too much fun while I'm trying to sleep with more than 290 kilometers per hour on the clock. Thank you for joining me on that first test drive with the new Mercedes AMG S63 E Performance. A car with a huge name and a big size that left great impressions with me because it really combines the luxury that you expect from an S-Class with the sportiness that you expect from AMG. Yes, there are cars that are more aggressive with less horsepower and less torque, but this car hits you with a glove that has just some velvet around it. Nevertheless, very punchy, very agile, very aggressive, and very luxurious. No matter if you sit front seat left or rear seat right, you'll enjoy a ride in this car to the utmost. Thank you, Shishye, Sai Tian, and goodbye.